Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian and you might be wondering why I'm running around in the hardware labs like this. Well, it's because I'm gonna have to do some explaining over here. There we go. I'm just gonna sit right here. So, if you didn't get that from the intro, uh, we're in the hardware labs and you might be wondering why I'm here being chased by, well, a nightmare that's trying to... Can I actually lock this? No, it is. It is locked. Okay, so that's great. So it can't get in. That's a good start. So that nightmare, nightmare is going all over the place. Great. Um, I'm here because originally I recorded about an hour of footage, but uh, of just the events that just transpired. But uh, yeah, my computer crashed and I lost basically my progress and everything regarding that as well. So I didn't want to fake my reactions or, or anything like that during uh, me re-recording this, which is what I just did. I'm just going to run you through what I did in that hour of recording that I lost. So first thing, we went to the Arboretum again and tried to... Ooh, that's a thermal phantom trying to get in. Uh, can you actually make those fire things through the door? I don't think you can. Um, and we tried to escape. We did just that. And this is what happens when you do that. Morgan, I don't understand how you got the launch kit to that escape pod. Of all the ways the test could have changed you, this was the last one I expected. You just... quitting. So yeah, that's a bit of a mindfuck, right? So that kind of gave me an, an oh my god moment. Um, where I think that means that the entire game is like happening in Morgan's head. Which means that all of this isn't even real. Um, but of course we're going to have to see when we actually finish the game. But that's what happens there. You get a game over and you need to restart. After that we went to the deep storage and figured out the mystery behind uh, Michaela's father, which is, yeah, really bad. Let's listen to that as well. Initiating test procedure 29, variant C, subject V-0106552. Subject 32 is in the chamber. Psychoscope's on, everyone. Do you have a family? Grab the Typhon Cacoplasmus. I have a daughter. They took me from her. I was promised I would see her again. I signed your papers. <sighs> Let's stay focused, everyone. Your family. You must hate them very much to do this. I hear it in your voices. Track his vitals. 32 is showing signs of distress. Elevated cortisol, heart rate, perspiration. Nothing in the red yet. Look at me. Look at the man you're killing. Mimic is in the tube. Permission to release? Morgan? What you do kills us both. Release. Mm -hmm. Typhon Cacoplasma specimen is in chamber with subject 32. Subject... Uh, subject vital signs are gone. Make a note. Replication followed the usual pattern. Appears unaffected by the subject's age. Morgan, did you get a good scan? Yeah. Data looks good. Scrub it and send it up to me as soon as you can. I want a new design on the mimicry connectomes before I dive into the sim again. Uh, and as you can see in the recording, so that's the mystery behind that. We kind of killed Michaela's father ourselves. Uh, and I transferred that file towards the lobby. So Michaela's going to wait for us to watch that. So it's a bit of a, a hard decision I had to make. I did want to, well, wrap that up so Michaela knows what happened to her father. But I'm going to guess we need the stun gun if we go back to the lobby and we watch that. Um, after that, we went outside and I scanned those two coral nodes. Scan complete. All specimens required. Fascinating. Of all their victims. Your hunch was on the right track. 
It's a kind of neural structure. Synaptic like activity up and down the length of it, like it's communicating. Just one more to go. We knew you could handle this. Our father warned me not to stake so much of the company's future on your ideas. I was right to ignore him. We're a good team, Ken. They are very hurry. No. Nothing that interferes with memory formation. Search complete. Excellent work. All that's left is integrating the data after you upload it. Hard to tell from just a scan summary, but... Wait. What is... There's some kind of neural tripwire built into the coral. Christ. Morgan, get back to my office. We have to get your data uploaded now. Hurry. And there we got another flashback showing us again that Alex seems to be uh, still experimenting on us from the outside. So, and there's somebody else giving him instructions. Um, and now the nightmare is actually gone. I also found Grant Lockwood, Lockwood that... Uh, disgruntled employee floating far away in space and he was just holding a few more uh, neural molds and I think that actually wrapped up that quest. So yeah that wrapped up that quest and from the outside we then went into the hardware labs and the lights are all out here and that's where basically my computer crashed. I'm just gonna just open this up. I fought two more poltergeists in here but other than that um, I, I originally had just a thermal phantom but while I was fighting that it, uh, suddenly a nightmare just came barging through the room, which is a bit sketchy, but uh, we'll see if we can just take out, there's at least one more mimic over there. Uh, if I get a critical on him, oh god, there's, wait, what did I hit there? Ah, there we go. There we go, amazing shooting skills, and there's the turbo! Ooh, okay. I think I killed him there. There we go. And that's a thermal phantom down. I think still something saw me. So yeah, the power is out in this entire area. And I might be able to fix... If I fix this, is that fixed? No. It just fixes the panel. Great. But I'm assuming... That nightmare is still running around. Or is that something that just disappears if you manage to... Run off from it. Um... So, there's two things we can do here. I also fixed the breach over there. So we can go into the Beams and Waves lab. And in there we have the Black Box lab. And that should get us a fancy new weapon. If we don't get murdered along the way. First, because the power is out completely in this area. And that basically means that... Well, yeah. We're going to have to find another way up. Which we already know. We kind of did that. Oh, there's a weaver up there. There's a weaver up there. Might as well use the Q-beam to uh, kill that thing rather quickly. Goodbye. And that also killed the cystoid. That's great. Okay. So back to... You know what? The shotgun. The shotgun. There we go. Okay. That looks all exploded, but we need to get up. Can I open that up? Oh, it's... Ooh. What the... So there is a fistoid nest on the other side of the door. That's loud again. Okay. I think I'm just not so... Remember that? Remember that guy? The dead guy. So we fixed this breach. Which means that we can now enter the beams and waves lab. Which is of course now magically infested with more cystoid nests. So I think... There we go. And they all exploded. Is that radioactive? free yeah okay breach access so this is completely new the place is freaking out but what is gonna be in here is that a new q beam oh and there's another there's a phantom over there what can i do q beam controls please ensure a suitable target is in range in the range aperture before commencing firing tests um fire q beam Okay, goodbye phantom. Let's unlock that. Is that a special one? Because it looks blue. 
It's just... Wait, is this a special one? No, it's the exact same color. Must be an, a quicker way to get the Q-beam then, if you want to have it earlier. That's probably the way to go. Well, in our case, we can get the ammo, which is... Ooh, there's a lot of ammo for it. That's a 144. That's a bunch of that. And that's cool. This is where they made the Q-beam. And we get some more organic materials for our trouble. But basically... Ah, and there's the way it's supposed to be working. Cute. What else do we have here? We have the Psy Hypo. Another destroyed operator, but... Two emails. From Josh Dalton. So that was the guy that was being bullied, I think? These mandatory sessions are worthless. My design was stolen. Someone else got the credit. It's fraudulent. I need restitution, not talk therapy. I'll handle it myself from here on out with multiple typos. Mr. Dalton, please do not confront Lane. Let's give it one more shot. How does 7.30 this evening sound? Oh no, right. That's Dalton, uh, the guy that killed the other guy with the Q-beam over the invention. And this is the other email regarding that. Is no one going to help me? I've presented all of the information needed to prove that Lane is trying to sabotage my career. His promotions are the result of my work. My work. There's no accountability in this company as far as I can tell. I'll take this to Alex if I have to. Josh, your previous 12 mails outlined all of your concerns well enough. Please come to my office this afternoon at 2. We'll need to speak face to face. But that apparently didn't work out. Is This was, of course, not the black box lab yet. So I'm still hoping to find another... Ooh, more Q-beams. Uh, another uh, golden variant of a weapon. Because I feel like there must be more of those. And this is Lane. Okay, Mr. Carpenter, we have received a report that there is an issue with some black box equipment in the guts, as it never reached the cargo bay. We were unable to locate Joss Dalton for assistance. Please get back to us at your earliest convenience. We know Dalton actually killed Lane in the guts, so this might have been just a ploy to get him there. Oh, gold. Oh. Oh. Lane is a phantom. Um... I have the key for that, and I should probably just do this, right? There we go. Sorry, Lane. Had to pick you out there. Uh, so that's a Q-beam self-fabrication plan. Makes sense. But what was this? This was saying something else. Um, enjoy your time at the top while it lasts, because it won't be long. Tom, see what I have to deal with? This needs to stop. Oh, so yeah, we saw the mail in human resources from there. I'll speak with Josh soon. Does this tell us more? Wow, that's... Holy crap, this place is filled with ammo. Um, so there's a lot of operator shells over here. Which don't seem to do anything. But more ammo. Ammo is always nice. That's... I think I found five clips already. Black box Q3 update backup file. What's this gonna be? William Yu, Hardware Labs, Project Lead Lane Carpenter. Carpenter. Black box project, the Q-beam attachment for NCN9 black box military operators is progressing ahead of schedule. Development on outstanding tasks has been broken down below. Micro cooling plate optimization and recirculating amb ambient control. As you can see, we are nearly there. Once the cooling system has been optimized and migrated into the Q-beam firing mechanism, prototypes will be sent Earthside. Testing is proceeding as planned. Preliminary results show promising excitations in the molecular structure of energized systems. Live target not yet tested. Okay, so they were making Q-beams over here. As a prototype directed energy weapon, a stream of volatile quasi-particles causes rapidly cascading excitations in energetic systems of matter to the point of rupture. I could transfer that, but I have that already. Uh, and then the supply crate just has... So this is just an early way of getting the Q-beam, I suppose, if you haven't found it anywhere else. Because there's nothing new here. Ah, oh, I was hoping for a gold variant. That's sad. But okay, that's another side quest wrapped up because I heard the dingly ding dong in the background. There we go, the black box project completed. And when we get out, there's another phantom. Now uh, we can just shotgun him in the back for another 
free batch of loot. Okay. So with that, we can now head back to the lobby. And from the lobby, we'll be able to talk to Michaela, which I'm not looking forward to. I'm just going to quickly scan for any sort of saves that I might have missed. Since I can now open up pretty much everything with the, uh, the hacking skill. Doesn't seem like I missed anything else. So now we can get back to the lobby through here. So back in the lobby, I'm just quickly going to recycle a few things so we can move on. There we go. Picked up everything over there. And now, what has respawned over here? Because I feel like they repopulate the areas with new enemies every so often to keep you on your toes. So just in case you're wondering, I did quick save before this because I don't know what's going to happen here. Morgan, hooked up some more supplies. Take what you need and don't be shy about using it. I've acquired the chipset. Um, hello, Michaela. Morgan. Um, do you want to watch that thing with me? I'm feeling much better. Legs are fine. Vision's clear. Those boosts are still. You've been trapped tight. in the simulation for three weeks. Normally, the tests are only a few days long. Okay, okay thank you, January. That's a bit weird, but um, did I now get? I'd like to listen to it now, if you're ready, Morgan. Uh, I am. Uh, how do I... Can you help me? Just like you to keep me waiting. Um, no. Um, I'm unable to... It's not even in my data anymore. How do I... How do I do this? You know what, I'm gonna give Igwe's his stuff there. I haven't had much there. success in calling up more fabrication plans. But I did have a design for a psychoscope chipset I've been tinkering with. Well, I'd be honored if you found some use for it. Okay, so we got two chipsets. Thank you. It's a strange feeling. There we go. I hold Lightner's gift to the world in my hands. He will live on. Okay. So I wish my wife could have heard him play again. That was brave of you. To recover the connectomes for me, I... I appreciate it. I appreciate all you and Transtar have done for me. And Transtar, that's a bit weird. I mean, me, what I just did now is fine, but... Michaela, hi. Do you, do, you, do you still want to watch it? Got stationed in engineering because Paraplexus prevented me from being a pilot. Now a pilot's what we need. Y yeah, but do do you wanna do you wanna watch a video with me? Because this doesn't seem to work. I can't believe you were able to find it after all this time, Morgan. January has been showing me around, telling me Morgan. Well, everything. I oh, figured you came back because your ears were burning. The oh, truth of wait. that statement is questionable on many levels, Chief Illusion. Okay, wait, is wait, 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 wait. The utilities just run up. I have more autonomy than a typical operator. The contents of the video are sensitive. Only a flesh and blood person could handle the responsibility, I presume. Okay, so now there's a second utility. There we go, the audio log. Okay, here we go. This is going to be painful. Um... Initiating Ugh. test procedure 29, variant C, subject V-010655-32. Subject 32 is in the chamber. Psychoscope's on, everyone. Do you have a family? self-incriminating. I have a daughter. They took me from her. I was promised I would see her again. I signed your papers. Let's stay focused, everyone. Your family. You must hate them very much to do this. I hear it in your voices. Track his vitals. 32 is showing signs of distress. Elevated cortisol, heart rate, perspiration. Nothing in the red yet. Look at me. Look at the man you're killing. Mimic is in the tube. Permission to release? Morgan? What you do kills us both. Release. Ah, 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 mm -hmm. ah, 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 Typhon Cacoplasma ah, specimen is in the chamber ah, with subject 32. Ah, 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 ah. Subject, uh... I'm sorry, Michaela. Subject, vital signs are gone. Ooh. Make a note. Replication followed the usual pattern. Appears unaffected by the subject's age. Morgan, did you get a good scan? Yeah. Data looks good. Scrub um, it and January, send it to me no. as soon as you can. 
I want a new design on the mimicry connectomes before I dive into the sim again. Um. Hi, Michaela. Oh. You performed the procedure. The what? Killed him? And you knew. No, no. Why? I didn't. And to think, more. I thought you were trying to help me. Why would you save me to do this? To buy back some guilt? So I'd forgive you? My father is right. You don't understand. Your father, mother, your stupid, deluded brother. You will never understand family. You don't even understand what it means to be human. Get the hell away from me. Okay. I thought she was going to shoot me or something. Um, she's, she's just really pissed. Understandably pissed. Because apparently... No. Oh, okay. She's, she's good. She went and stood in a corner for now. Okay. Um, well, that's the sad ending to that quest, I suppose. Sorry, Michaela. At least you know what happened now. Oh, this makes me feel really, really bad. On the plus side, let's check out the chipsets we got from those lovely people. So another backlash reactor, we kind of had that already, so that's nothing new, but the scope chipset might be something new. Coral Psi Extract, regenerate Psi in contact with Coral. That is cool. Next up, we have a few more side quests left. So who's December, we can't really do, but... Next up should be Psychotronics, because we both have the prisoner there left. We might as well release him since we don't want to kill anybody. And then the access exotic material storage in Psychotronics, since we, I think we cleared that hill breach as well. So, Psychotronics is this, I know, I know where that is. So if I'm not mistaken, Psychotronics is over here. And I think I can open this up right now. There we go, because I'm a hacker. There we go. Clear that up. I thought I opened this before, but apparently four neuro molds. Holy crap! Okay, okay, fair enough. Let's go through here. I think I've cleared this out, right? I've been back here before, but might as well recycle now. Straight through the door to Psychotronics. So we tried to re-enter this before, and the place was filled with stuff. Um, and it seems to be still filled with stuff, but mainly cystoid nests for now. Just gonna keep my distance. Oh god, I should have known that, should have known that, should have known that, should have known that. Shotgun! Yeah, it's a bit of a waste, but at least I can hit them, kind of, with my... Amazing aiming skill. So that means that that phantom is probably also still there. Because it's just gonna. There he is. Hey, buddy. Just in case he fires away. No, okay. So I'm pretty powerful right now, aren't I? That is really nice. And I have a batch of neuromods I haven't used. So I have 13 neuromods left, which means that I'm gonna fill up the stealth tree. Uh, so we can sprint without making noise, or just... Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the sneak attack damage over here. Uh, six more over here. There we go. And then we can use the weapon upgrade kit into the golden gun, maybe? What do I need to add to that? Range. Probably range. There we go, up to 30 meters now, so I can start sniping. Then I probably need to upgrade accuracy as well. But that's something. Uh, then we can open up this thing on the right. Where is exotic material storage is over there. So we'll see that in a second once we get up. Okay, the first one was difficult, but the second one was pretty easy. Operator, there we go. That's probably for hacking a certain number of things. Wait, what was that? So those are two turrets, so it should be fine, I suppose. I'm gonna eat that because I got a bit of a, a hiccup there. Another Pistol with 15 bullets in it. A weapon upgrade kit. And of course the terminal. Uh, at the end of the second shift, as per Alex, use direct orders. You are to escort Dr. Gallegos to the security office in the main lobby. And other than that, I think I could just go and start 
tracking Kirk Rammer again. There we go, Kirk Rammer, because we still need to find him in life support. Uh, we can download the area map as well, so all done. Looking glass station, what is that? That seems to be something separate, but we'll see about that. Aside from that, nothing new, so might as well move further. And there was a mimic in that one. There we go. Just hear the clicking. And I think we just needed to go through this area, right? Might of course be new enemies. Uh, we got a Voltaic Phantom immediately, which means... No, not recycler charges, EMP. Is that an EMP? That is. So that stalls that over there. There we go. I think I did see Greater Mimic there. Did I kill that as well, or... I saw... There it is. I knew I saw the hell bar pop up for a second there, but there it is. Okay, and I heard another one. So there might still be another one. Broken cooler fan. It's more, more materials for me, but it looked a bit strange. Over here, we have that guy that's still locked up, but he's locked up together with a phantom. Do you still want to get out? Do you still want to get out? Hi. That's me. Okay. Million dollar... Okay, so this is what we needed to check out. This, wasn't this open before? Okay, there's a load of exotic materials here. Is that going to be just the reward for this quest? Because that's not that much otherwise. Because I have plenty of exotic materials. What the... Okay. Some more mimics. More mimics. I'm just gonna eat one of these. You know what? Both of these things. I don't really care anymore. Because I have plenty of food where that came from. So this is a few... There's a few cells here for some reason. Subject holding B. Which of these items is a mimic? Hello. No, nothing. Nothing that wants to jump out at me, nothing. No toilet paper or anything. And that's basically it. There's not much more to this area. Other than a few cells and a lot of exotic materials. There's even one behind here. Almost missed it. And then you. Might as well release you, right? Um, door control. Open door. Hello. And now I can just... Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. Uh, so I'm gonna let him go out. Yeah, I could just... Let's talk You're to him. You're the one person that showed me any real kindness. And you can believe I won't forget it. Okay. I could also shock you right now, just to be sure. But I should probably let him live. I should probably save him, right? Because he's going to run straight into that etheric phantom. There we go. Saved your ass, buddy. He would have died. Aaron, get your ass out of here. There's phantoms all over the place. So, I think that about wraps up our business in Psychotronics. I can't really remember. I think this eventually... Ends up in the guts, yeah, so the gravity tunnel system. Which is not something we need to revisit. Um, I'm wondering if I... Can I actually go into... Oh. I've never done this. Microgravity detected. Woobly woobly. The weaver seems to be gone as well. Because this is where it all started. This... Objects was where they came up with. Is there anything in here? Doesn't seem like it. I can go through the core like I still get those weird messages, but otherwise, it doesn't seem to be a single thing here. It's cool that you can just float around in here, but okay. Hi, that is me. Hi. 
Hi drone. Uh, but otherwise there doesn't seem to be much here, so I'm just gonna head out again. So I'm just gonna check out the other side of the area really, really quickly, just to end this off. There's probably gonna be another phantom here, no? So, I don't think there was anything left in this area. Because I opened up everything I could open up. Wait, what? Who's calling me now? January was right. It was not you. But... I keep hearing your voice. And my father's voice. And... It was not you. I know. You saved me because you wanted to. That is not the same person on the recording. Something's changed. I need to see that. I'm... Better now. I'll do as I can to get us off the station alive, but that log is coming with me. If you truly want forgiveness, you'll help me get it to where it belongs. No matter what that means for you, and Tronstar. Okay, so Michaela is kind of starting to forgive us. And that I feel like is a positive note to end the episode at. And I think the operator just took the elevator. Did that thing just... Is the sword go up? Yeah, there it is. It just went up. Okay, I'm just gonna head back to the lobby and we'll end it there. Why is there another one alive here now? <laughs> Come on, buddies. Just stay stay dead. And that's another weapon upgrade kit. Okay. Okay. Thanks for that, I suppose. Was he hiding in there? You guys should stay... Just just, just should stay away, because you're just gonna die. Oh. Director Kelstrop's office. That's... Was I never able to open that up before? Apparently not. Apparently not. This looks fancy. Like a secret lair of some sort. I should probably check that. That's a recycler charge that might kill me, but... Transcribe from Hans Kalstrup. Calvino! What did you do to my conference room? Eh? Oh, 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 yes. I was uh, just about to call you. All I see is a dot. Yes, that's right. It's the calibration system for the new touchscreen. You only have to run it one time. Uh, are you kidding me? Just follow the dot. When it turns green, touch it. It should... Damn it, Calvino. I do not have time to play sing-along with your bouncing ball. I'll call you back. Oh, okay. There's another transcribe. Hans... We need to talk about Annalise Gallegos. Okay. I thought we kind of heard that before. There's a lot of items behind this thing, but... I'm curious. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, well, that was a jump scare. God, motherfucking damn it. <laughs> Well, I might be 20 hours in this in this game, but the game still manages to wire the hell is it? I just shot it in the face, didn't I? Is it behind me? Dickheads! There you go. Oh my god, that my heart just jumped. I'm I'm gonna need a new pacemaker. Oh, Whew. Damn, son, that was harsh. Um, can I go... Can I go in there now? Oh. Oof. I'm not well. I'm definitely not... That was nasty. The people... You guys are bad people. Wait, this doesn't look even remotely... Huh? Oh, that actually shows you... Because that's not what... Hello? This is not... I know that... But what's the use of, of showing you a different area than what's behind there? That's a bit weird. Okay, never mind. Probably so he can uh, watch his other employees work, which is even creepier than what just happened right now. Um, so I'm assuming that was supposed to be the phantom behind me that was reflected in the mirror and I just had shoulder the mirror. God damn it, that was scary. That was really well done. That was a really nicely done jump scare. But uh, fuck that, I'm not heading back to the lobby. I'm just going to end the episode here. So thank you guys enormously for watching.
Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and my mini heart attack. And I'll see you guys next time in the next episode of Prey. And where in the hell did that phantom come from? Goodbye.